Welcome to another day of my path to outstanding aesthetics. Um, what happened in these last few days is um, my body started to retain a bunch of water. So what I'm working on now is tactics that is going to allow me to reduce the water tension to reveal all the definition in my body. So um, what happened over the last two days is um, gained water weight. I started at 183. I dieted. As I was dieting down, I was getting leaner and I hit my mark at 179. Um, I continued to eat less and less because it's so easy with intermittent fasting to not eat. So um, yeah, my body started to retain water and I jumped up to 186 and over one day and then today uh, it's time to weigh myself again and this is pretty incredible what happened overnight uh, just by eating a little bit more food um, I'm gonna show you what happened. So step on the scale and it says 180 and we're at 12% body fat. That's yeah. what it looks like when you're retaining a bunch of water. Um, what you want to do is eat more carbohydrates. Typically um, go to carbohydrates like potatoes, um, oatmeal, and all that great stuff. Uh, because all the sugars, what people say are bad, um, might it, it just might help you release the water retention in your body if you're eating better food. So um, I'm gonna show you tip my tactics, what I do to reduce the water retention so that I can reveal all the definition in my body. So over these next couple of days, you'll probably get to see more um, definition and veins running through my body. So um, yeah, that's that's the uh, joy when you're using intermittent fasting is that you don't want to eat, but you kind of have to uh, when you're getting to low low levels of body fat and you're doing tons of activity. So the, there's uh, some things that you need to build strategies on, and this is one of them. Um, I got a few things I need to get done, so I'm gonna go head out and uh, do that. So, so I had to stop at Walmart again um, because I was out of tortillas, and I plan on having chicken burritos for dinner tonight. Um, actually, I just found these ones out. They're uh, only 50 calories a piece, which is pretty awesome. So um, yeah, I got that, and I saw this when I walked past the ice cream aisle. Um, it's Edie's Slow Churn, uh, double chocolate chip cookie dough ice cream, and it's only 130 calories, um, per serving. Um, I also got some chocolate, um, because it was on sale, but, um, I, I tried these before, strawberries and chocolate, and they're fantastic, so... Uh, I think they only come out at Valentine's Day. That's why they're in a heart-shaped box. But uh, I'm definitely going to have some of this tonight. Uh, I talked to my barber, and he's in working right now. So I'm going to go get my hair cut because this is unnecessary. This is definitely out of control. So, so what do you think? Um... Anyway, I'm home from the barber shop. Uh, my barber always hooks me up and uh, makes me look really, really good. Um, he's so precise with the way he gets his hair. It's uh, awesome. But um, yeah, I'm back home. I have one more thing that I want to do before I eat some dinner. Uh, it's now five o'clock and um, I'm going to do that one thing, and I also I may uh, meet my dad out for some drinks tonight, so we'll see what goes on with that. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to show you guys my new haircut. There's been a change of plans. I'm actually going to go meet my dad for a little bit, and we're probably going to have a couple drinks. Uh, this just goes to show that uh, intermittent fasting is very versatile, and uh, any way that you could possibly use it. Um, I'm, I haven't even eaten. I'm gonna go have some fasted uh, drinks with him. Uh, probably some uh, old fashions, maybe, because those are incredible. But um, I made it home. 
and I'm making some chicken chipotle burritos. Uh, I'll show you what they look like here in so a second. The masterpiece is finished. Um, these just look awesome. Um, I'm gonna eat these. Uh, and you wouldn't believe me if I just told you that these only made up uh, about one third of my calories. So this is what I mean when I say it's so hard to um, eat enough food uh, with intermittent fasting because you can under eat by a, an incredible amount and lose fat overnight. So this is an amazing strategy when you want to get really, really lean, really fast. Um, because I'm, I'm honestly super full just after having this amount of food. And that, that's not a lot of calories and it's eight o'clock. This will keep me full for another four and a half hours. And uh, I like this. What I do as a strategy is put my last meal up into two separate meals. So I'll even feel more full uh, later on with the next meal I'm having. So I, I won't eat until I get to bed. So that that's what I do in order to lose fat overnight is I'll break, I'll separate the meals I'm having and I'll still use intermittent fasting. So my first meal is pretty big and then the second and third meal are um, just as filling uh, because I'll still be pretty full after having these. So it, it uh, really depends on how you want to want to approach your diet um, typically it for people who, who have a hard time gaining weight it's more realistic for them to eat like two to four times a day the reason why like there's diets that say eat six times a day uh, and have small meals is because they want you to think that it's really hard so if you just take those meals and make them into two or three meals then it's so much easier because you don't have you don't have to uh, eat every two to three hours just to make yourself feel comfortable. You can have two or three big meals, or two big meals, or one huge meal and two smaller meals to make up the calories needed to be at an effective deficit. So you have to make it a, a lifestyle change for you to have the food um, you want. That, that's why intermittent fasting allows you to have a bulk number of calories all at once. So eating dessert and all that just uh, feels like a normal thing. This is really how our bodies naturally adapted to have food. We ate in big, huge amounts um, and just didn't have food for a while because when we got the chance to eat food, we ate until we were completely full so that we can survive. We didn't snack on like potato chips and all that. We ate until we were satisfied so that we can live. And that's, that's the thing with intermittent fasting. That's the whole entire concept that it gives us. It allows us to eat big satiating meals so that we can thrive, uh, when we don't have food. So, so um, I finished that and I'm super full, but um, another thing I wanna add, uh, throw in there, is uh, yeah, we, we are basically born genetically given this gift of being able to survive off of little nutrition or nourishment for a great amount of time. Um, and just holding a fast for eight hours to have your first meal will be super easy once you start adapting to this lifestyle but you don't need to do that like i said it's so hard to eat a bunch of food um throughout the day if you're using this when you when you get into the routine of intermittent fasting you will just feel so amazing and focused. So if we're training using intermittent fasting, we are born to 
have this fight or flight adaptation where we can just you know take charge whenever we need it um, we we don't need food to wake up because a hormone cortisol the one that retains water that I've been talking about it's a um, a stress hormone it responds to all the stresses in uh, daily living so when we wake up it peaks in the morning it usually peaks around 8 o'clock in the morning and um, hits its lowest levels by 4 a.m. so we have it all throughout the day um, and yeah there's a bunch of things that make our bodies just thrive without food and if you have any interest in learning about this lifestyle um, you really have to try it for yourself um, you can just start by you know not having breakfast waiting a few hours to eat your first meal which is typically four to six for most but um, four to six hours after waking that is but you take a break from food you really admire eating I mean if you think about it like I used to eat six to eight times a day on these bodybuilding diets and that's what I thought I had to do in order to keep the muscle that I had uh, the thing is it doesn't matter what time times of the day you eat you can hit a workout right before you go to bed not have any food and fast for another day and your muscles will still be there depending on your strength training regimen so yeah the more fat you can actually build muscle without eating at all because if you have we all have some sort of fat on us the fat will be used to replenish the muscles that have been fatigued so that's another thing um, so we, we really don't need food and we should eat um, to live not live to eat when I wanted to get the body that I wanted I used to be 260 pounds I had to create the motivation to actually want to push myself and I did some terrible terrible things um, to try to get myself to where I am today and what I've already accomplished so please just take that into mind um and ba bam those look amazing they're extremely crispy uh, and crunchy perfect texture of french fries um, and they're super easy to make but um so I got my ice cream I'm gonna put some raspberry jam on it and maybe some chocolate sauce but uh this is definitely gonna be my last move guys there was another video showing you my tactics and what i use to um, reduce the water retention that has been accumulated through a period of dieting um when you're at a low body fat percentage uh, this can take place and what you need to do is basically eat more so if you like this video please leave a like and subscribe and uh, I will show you what I eat in order to make life fantastic while revealing an incredible physique so uh, also in this video we talked about intermittent fasting and its concepts um, basically it's based upon the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous systems uh, the, when we're in the sympathetic nervous system, we're at our most elite state and focusing what we need to do throughout the day. And then the parasympathetic nervous system takes place and we are eating, we're more relaxed, we're replenishing all the glycogen that we burned throughout the day to uh, execute what we needed to do. So later in the day when we're eating, we're feeling relaxed, we're replenishing our mind and body for optimal uh, fuel for the next day so yeah please if you like this video leave a like and subscribe and thank you so much for watching